Hey, what's going on, guys? Simon in here. Today, we're going to be uh, exploring the uh, work in progress Neon Industries. Now, ain't too much on the outside, obviously. A lot, pretty big. Yeah, all right, so we're gonna go through here. This is um, still work in progress. I'm looking on ideas on like how to fill up these rooms here. I think it like armor, like over here, armor on both sides with like uh, bunker doors, decontaminators in the middle aisle here. We have our big hall here. This is going to be like storage for like vehicles and stuff. And this will be like the big area for like storing like like for vehicle more vehicles and stuff. This will be for like missiles and stuff too. I might need to make a taller building for missiles instead of like standing up right. Over here we have the big reactor room. Very nice. 125 back. Uh, Flux per uh, tick. It goes into this big giant battery here. That goes into uh, the RF to HE converter, which then goes into this copper cable here, which then goes into our laboratory here. Now this ain't too fancy. You get two breeding reactors. Got steel crates, a dinutrium anvil, two nuclear blast furnaces. They're gonna have fuel in them and stuff. And we have our uh, workstations here for like with the electric press and stuff to make components. Electric furnace, and we have a shredder if we want to destroy something that's like unnecessary. It's pretty cool there. Over here we have our uh, uranium hexafluoride storage tanks. We got four of these all together. Apparently it's corrosive. We have our plutonium hexafluoride tanks here. And we also have four of those. We have our gas centrifuges. Alright, so two of these are going to be for the uh, plutonium hexafluoride and the other two are going to be for the uh, uranium hexafluoride. Got a little Iraq flag on, a uh, flag on there. I think it's Iran, actually. I don't know. I think it's Iran, though. <laughs> More storage. Can never have too much storage. And we have regular centrifuges over here, along with our big giant battery here, which is set to receive and uh, like charge and discharge at the same time. So like, you can actually use it like all the time now you can configure these to uh, do one or the other i just have it set like this this is more like a battery backup than anything else for centrifuges and the rest of the system over here we have more storage that's pretty much it so far we also have this door here which is eventually going to have a road going down like down there but anyway, that's pretty much it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please like and subscribe if you guys haven't already. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.